So hello guys, Dove Surp right here to give you tips and tricks on how to play Jet on Ascent. Let's jump right to it. So my number one tip would be holding angles, such as when you have your tailwind and you want to to secure this position. For example, let's go for aiming. I have my tailwind, right? So the round started, maybe omen smoke one way over here. And you can hold the angle like this. So like after one enemy Here. try to swing or enemy flash you, you can just flash right up and go for a safer spot. Cause I think guys na if you have your tailwind, you can go for off angles like that. You can also go for for like you can also ask support for your TPs. You can try to push one side, side kill one guy, dash away. Cause I think Jet utilizes so much when he she tries to take enemy fights because i because i think this agent has the the only one that can take the risk without it being super risky and i get so so guys because if mga jet jet player kayo for example let's go bimin if jet player kayo kailangan masanay kayo sa mga off angles saka hindi nagdares yung Madalas hindi nagdares yung ano niya, focus niyo. For example naman sa beaming. Kasi since mauuna lagi tayo Here. sa preso na to, pwede ka agad pumasok yung tiyo dito. Off angle ka lang. May mag swing o ano, may makapatay kayo sa always dash away. Kung baga, huwag kang kukumit lagi sa dalawang kalaban, if kaya mo. Or example, napatay mo agad, hindi ka naman masyado nabukasan, pwede ka pa umis ha. Kaya ka to, sa kakadumash. You can always try to maybe kill at least one. Yeah, kill at least or damage at least one. In your first tip, for sure, guys. And for the second tip, is make sure, make sure, make sure you have to pick your opponents when you have the right timing, when you have the right weight. For example, when you're using the operator, right? You can play off angles like this. Or one thing you could do. You can push them. Maybe ask for a recon like outside beaming, Here. something like that. Then you can push them one by one until you see someone. Then when you don't see someone, you can calm your team like beaming clear, beaming clear. So if anyone, if anyone is holding a uh, ticket, right, like behind this box, Here. behind this ticket booth, I mean, you can tell them na one guy's behind ticket. I can hold him. I can kill him. So after killing him, you can dash away, or you can also save your dash. Like after killing him, you can smoke and then fall back. Like there are so many ways to play jet. For example, in the middle of the round, you don't have info. Then you can ask your Sova to maybe recon here, here. on it. And when the recon's when the recon's going to pop off, you can just pick. This is when you have your tailwind, guys. Okay, because I think. Some of you like try to play jet, but a lot of people try to pick without their tailwind. Like they just pick like this and try to fall back. But sometimes, sometimes you don't have your tailwind, right? But af if you are only one k away, I mean one kill away, <laughs> you're only one kill away from having your tailwind. You can pick, but if you get that kill, you can pick, fall back. You can also use this off angle for aiming as so. well. Like this. Because this guy cannot pick you. For example, it's so hard to pick that angle. You will see him first. If you play here, you will see this guy first. The one on top. You will see him first. Also, guys, you can do this pick as well uh, from mid. Try to go for the guy jump picking. So this thing. There are a lot of ways. But I'm giving you like the gist of it. So you can do your own creative ways on how to pick a jet. But I'm giving you like like a guide. Like a guide on how to do it way more efficiently. So for my third tip naman is when playing on the attacker side, make sure to create space when entering or retaking sites. 
such as dashing to smokes. Oh, I'll give you one example. So right here, right? We're in the main. So for example, Omen did this smoke, Locking the double smoke. What you can do is, someone will recon behind the tree, right? You can dash here, take your left, then close the door. Then you can wait for the smoke. You can... Okay, this is the, the thing about Jet, guys. When you try to dash over here, you can either opt out to choose if you can check left. I mean, if you can check left. Or you should check right. Right. You know? You can check one corner. That's the trick of Jet dashing. You can check, check one corner while doing the dash animation. So after after closing the door, right, you have your omen smoke here, here, your omen smoke there. You can try to push here with your teammates because your teammates here. are probably gonna push lane, right? So you're pushing stairs. You have to look you have to look your radar for like a split second when you see here. them pushing here. You can now fight. You can clear the hard angles for your teammates. It doesn't matter if you don't get one kill if you die. What's important is you're making space. And you're doing your job as a duelist. On Acer, there are like two ways on how I do it. So the first thing is we have Locking a smoke here again, right? Okay. The first thing I want, I like to do is do this. Locking the right side, then stay up, wait for the info, then I try to pick. I check the here. right side because I can see this here. guy if someone is hiding here. If one guy is hiding here, I can see him if he tries to pick this corner. But if it's hiding like this, I, d I don't think I can see him. Can I try to take this spot? Because I could clear a lot of angles. I could clear Here. this, 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 Here. and this. Like, I can even clear this, Here. but not this. Careful. But if this guy kills someone, I can trade them. Like that, that's one way on how I enter. And the other way is like this. If if I try to enter like with the drone or something, just remember, guys, always check right side, okay? When you Here. dash, Here. the one that I told you earlier from B. Like this. You see how I checked it? I failed the dash there, but you know, you get the gist. Yeah. Someone there, you can kill them. So for the right side, I do it like this. Walking sight. Yeah, then I hide here. I can just go right then maybe like wait for the recon. Cause after you do this, guys, anything can happen. Like you have to be really quick with your senses. You have to like be great. Or maybe even try to. You can see. For this side, the man, you can check back here. side, left here. side, hell, and this. Here. This one, I don't think you can check Careful. wood and left side gen. Careful. But surely you will see him if he plays here. Like, there's no way he can hide. There's two angles. He can only play like this. It'll be easier for you to kill him. Because you have like... You have only one angle to look. Un unless Locking like sight. someone someone is like peeking out through the smoke like this you know? <laughs> these things can happen but I like you don't have to get a kill right like every time I tell you guys to make space it doesn't mean you have to get one kill it doesn't mean that it doesn't mean that you have to get the entity frags per se so that's for creating space for A side and B side. And my fourth tip would be using using the cloud burst to block angles and isolate fights. I'll give you one example for the attacking side. Here. So you see a lot of people here doing the short block smoke. Right? Uh, after doing the short smoke, you can. It's like you're you're making it one angle instead of two. Because if you swing like this. You're gonna be open here. Or if you swing like this, right? It's clear. Then you try to swing here. One guy could here. like timing pick you. So just use your smoke. Walk inside. And try to pick. You can also do this on beaming. 
Like if you wanna go out, right? Like here. One smoke here, one smoke here. But you cannot go in because one guy is theirs. You can just smoke here. Smoke Try to fight the one guy. Then if no one is here, you can like check like this. You know. Because I see a lot of jet users. They don't use the cloud burst smoke like like a mini smoke, you know, like like a mini wall that can save you from from those isolated fights. Also, I think you can do that too. If like one guy seven, but you're too scared to peek him, right? you just smoke him off. Try to fight like this. Or you can smoke like if you're scared to to go in, but you Here. don't have smoke. You can just smoke left side. Try to clear right side. Clear heaven. Then you can clear short. But also guys, be careful when you do this Because a lot of times I see people like this, like this, like this. Like there's no way you can check the right side if you block your side from the beginning you know? It's better to come like this, right, and you're good you Go out Shoot some heads And my final tip would be using the blade storm and aftraff on certain spots Like for example, if you're retaking A as defenders, you can do the double up right here. Like, go on top of this thing beside the window. Take it up there, and you can kill the guy staying, like staying, staying under heaven, right? You can also kill the guy behind green or someone is hiding there. On the end, you can double up there to kill the guy. You can also do this as attacker, right here. If you, if you know like the enemy team always play heaven, you can double up here. Then you can also see them from gen on the backside. You can also do this here with a single updraft. Remember to press the space when doing the updraft, so, it, so you can go higher. You can also do it without the space, but I don't, I don't prefer doing that. Because the higher you are, the more off angle you can be. My then if the enemy My team tries to smoke the CC, like for example, this is a no man smoke, right? Kill one, kill two, kill that. Then you can play a advantageous retake. You can also do this if you you know the Sova is always doing those cheeky wall banks. Or you can also try to go on top of here. Then you can just press Q. My on top of this fish fish box. Just below here. here. And also I would like to give like bonuses. So don't be too scared to take a fight when you have your tailwind. Try to hold an angle and and be that guy, you know? Be the tower that they have to go through when they take, try to take the sights. As for example guys, if you're playing on defenders, you should be you should be always ready on what to do. Like you should be always ready, you, you should be always thinking I have my tailwind, I have to take this fight. After one like after three minutes, I can fall back. They won't kill you instantly unless you're against like some cracked guy who's really feeling it, you know. And one more thing is you most likely you will be the first person to go in for retaking, for for attacking sites. It's always you, it's always you who's gonna be first most of the time, probably. Make sure you, you can come with your Sova or any other initiator in game because they will be your best friend like for the attacking side. Especially when the Sova can drone for you, then you can follow the drone. You can do that. Close the door. Then you, the drone tags somebody, you are back forever, you know. Make sure to utilize that that aspect of jet. If you like the video guys, make sure to subscribe and if you have any more suggestions, if you have anything that I can improve on, please comment down below. I want to see myself improving and 
developing towards making more videos because I did this in English so even the people who can speak Tagalog can understand me uh, thank you again for watching guys I hope you can leave it leave me a like and thank you